All right, guys, lots of people asking about the electron configuration for the copper two plus ion. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the electron configuration for a regular copper ion because that's what it's based off of. Copper sits here in their periodic table. So the electron configuration of copper is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. Now I'm going to abbreviate that using shorthand notation. If I just write AR, that covers me up to here, up to the 3P6. Then I can just write 4S2, 3D9. Now, the trick here is a single copper atom is one of those exceptions where a full D shell is more energetically favorable than a full 4S shell. And what happens is one electron jumps from the 4S to the 3D just because it's more energetically favorable. Deal with it. Do I have a reason for that? There's probably some quantum mechanical mathematical reason, but I don't know it. I just memorized it. Look where I am today. All right. Copper can be a plus one ion. When you make an ion out of an atom, you're supposed to remove or add, elect well, when, when you're removing electrons from an atom, you're supposed to remove it from the highest n first. What that means is that it'll come out of the 4s before it comes out of the 3d just because 4 is higher than 3. So a copper 1 atom is 4s0, which I'm not going to bother writing, 3d10. Now that seems pretty stable because the 4s subshell is completely empty. The 3d subshell is completely full. It sounds energetically favorable to me. But how do we create a copper 2 plus ion? You don't get a choice here. You've got to remove the electron from the 3d orbital. It becomes 3d9. Now what you may be wondering is, bro, 3d9 isn't a full subshell. Why is copper 2 so uh, stable? The answer, as far as I can tell, is something called the John Toller effect, which you're not responsible for. All you're responsible to know is that when you're removing electrons from atoms, you remove them from the highest n first. This is the electron configuration for three uh, for copper two, and it's Ar3d9. Accept it, even though it's not a full subshell. It's just the way it is. Sometimes other chemistry effects trump the quantum mechanics that you and rules that you've been taught before. It's the way it is, bro. Best of luck.